Hi, I'm Sam from samskitchen.net and today I'm going to be using one light and one setup and creating three different looks. The light I'll be using is a Pixapro Glowpad 350. Now I've used glow pads in a previous video, but this one is much larger and much brighter. Really easy to use. It's mains operated, all batteries, on and off switch to the rear and also a brightness dial as well. But I think I'll be probably using it at its brightest today for all three of the looks. The setup I'll be capturing is a chocolate and pomegranate cupcake. It will be against a rustic background. These wood slats are one of my favourite things to use to photograph with. Um, I've just styled it very, very simply with half the pomegranate and some seeds and a lovely vintage spoon. So let's get started. I've positioned the light so it's facing up. Now the idea with this is it's going to bounce the light off of the white ceiling and back down onto the scene. Let's see what we capture. Yeah, that works really well. It gives a lovely um, even illumination. Um, doesn't really give any shadows to it, but obviously you need something to bounce the light off of, so you need to have a fairly low and white ceiling for this look. So let's move the light around and see what different look we can create. So this time I've moved the light round to the side and let's take a photo and see what we get. Okay, that looks really good. What we've got here um, is a little bit of shadow which I think adds depth and also texture to the photo as well. Now, for my liking, I think I would fill in this side a little bit so the shadow's not quite so harsh. Really lovely, easy solution, so we don't particularly need another light here. We use a sheet of paper, we can bounce that light back in. So let's see how that looks. Yep, that's better. Just adds a little bit of light here, so the shadow isn't quite as harsh. That works really well. one more setup to try. As you may have noticed, we've got the light on a boom arm. It makes it much easier to move around and it makes it very stable as well. So let's just change the setup now. There we go, the third setup is a backlit look. So let's just take a photo and then we'll see what we need to do to uh, enhance it. So what happens when you rear illuminate something? It means that if the front isn't lit, then it, it will be darker. So it's in quite a lot of shadow at the front. There's a little neat trick that will give me the, the look that I'd really like to create with this and that's to move the exposure compensation on your camera up a couple of stops and that should give you a nice glow. Let's try that again. Yeah, that looks really good. Now, it's still a little dark on the front. I don't mind that too much, but you could add either the piece of paper, as we did before, or I've got a mirror here and you can add just a little bit of light in the front just to fill in the shadow. Now that looks great. 
the effect you get is a little bit like a morning glow coming in a window. So this would look fantastic with um, croissants or uh, marmalade and toast and a steaming cup of tea. This would look brilliant. So it just goes to show you that with one light, in this case the, the PixPro Glow Pad 350, uh, one setup, uh, moving the light around can create such different mood and feel and a very different look to your photographs. I really hope you get a chance to give this a try as well. Mm -hmm.